What's up guys? Welcome to winter 2023. It's currently pouring rain outside, but it's snowing in the mountains, so that's all that matters. Just wanted to make a quick video today talking about proper bar setup, um, key features being comfortable, low, um, strong and simple. That's, that's kind of my philosophy. So yeah, let's get right into it. I'll explain why low bars are so important. All right, so on my Articat here, I'm running the 730 millimeter wide bars from Kyber One. They have a 25 millimeter rise, and I paired that with a 65 millimeter riser. And that gives me a really nice low setup. Um, and there's a bunch of, bunch of reasons why you want a low setup, okay? I see a lot of people riding around in this old man position with high bars like this, and though that, might feel comfortable sitting on the showroom floor. That's not gonna help you be a better rider. Um, the whole idea, me coming from the moto world, I understand body position is super important on your machine and body position helps you soak up what's coming at you on the ground. As you know, sledding, there's old tracks, there's dips, dives, all kinds of things that you're, you have to deal with out in the snow and you want your body in the best position possible to soak that stuff up. So I find, obviously, you want to be in, a, in an attack position, okay? So feet mid to mostly near the back, um, about three quarters of the way back, say, on the running board. Um, knees bent, elbows bent, attack position like this, okay? And that's going to get you in a, in a good position, obviously, depending... Um, what you're doing if you're going downhill maybe you can get a little more head on the sled where if you're going uphill you want to be more down and over the bars um, so that you can attack that hill and you can squeeze with your with your feet and your knees a little bit maybe if your seat's high enough um, so yeah low bars gonna get you in that position um, the 730 millimeter wide bars that's the wider choice from kyber one um, I put them on this sled because I'm going to make this into a short track um, and it's going to be more of my jump sled. So I want that low and wide um, stance and that's going to just keep me a little more planted um, for, for doing jumps and stuff like that. Where on my boost sled, it's going to be more my tree riding sled. Um, I went with the 710 millimeter width, so that's going to get me a little more narrow. And uh, I'll explain a little bit why more narrow bars can be really helpful. And I'll, I'll show you with this broomstick. So, okay, imagine this, your stock bars are really wide, okay? Um, you're riding along and you wanna get it up on edge or something like that, or you're just working over some weird terrain. Look how far your arms and your body has to travel to get, you know, this amount of feedback into your sled. Now, as you move in, look how far your body and arms have to move. Okay. So skinnier bars is less feedback from the rider to get the sled to do, you know, things faster. 
um, from the rider through the bars to your sled. Obviously there's, there's a fine line. If you go too skinny, you're going to be unstable and not be able to, um, stay in control on your sled, but the wider you are, the bigger your motions have to be to, to get that input into the sled. Okay. So wide, skinny. So that's the biggest difference um, that I find in the width. Um, now, these are the small diameter grip bars. What is really neat about these is where your grip goes, they're actually down, neck down a bit. So what, what that enables is your hand's gonna have a smaller grip, like more like a fist. And that's gonna be where your best grip is. Um, I don't know how else to explain it, but if you have a chin up bar, that's really, really fat and you're trying to hang on like this, your grip strength isn't going to be near as strong and you're going to tire out and drop way quicker than if you had like very tight fists. Okay. It's the same idea with this. I, I noticed that right away with moto. I was very, very picky. Um, even if I went to a thick grip, like a nice pillow top grip on my motorbike, um, my grip would just open up that little bit and I'm talking millimeters makes a difference here. Okay. So that little bit, I would get arm pump. It would be harder for me to hang on. And that's where I really notice. Um, and over the course of a day or several days of riding, it's going to really benefit you to have just a smaller, little bit, slightly smaller diameter grip, um, in, in being able to hang on and grip strength. So just a couple more things I wanted to touch on about bar width, bar height. Um, one thing I didn't explain very well was in my attack position, um, when I said about the old man position where you're straight up and high bars, okay? Imagine you're standing there like that and you have a force, someone pushes you, okay? You're on your heels already to begin with. So you hit a, a bump going uphill where you're already on your heels. You're just gonna go out the back door. You're already behind the sled. You're gonna be going over backwards, you're not going to be able to soak that up as good as if you were in this position. And it's just, just easy to see you're in this position. Someone try to push you. You're not going anywhere. This position, pretty easy to shove someone over. Okay. You can relate it to hockey or football, whatever sport you play. Um, it's all about that low and wide stance. And that's what you're going to achieve with the lower bars. Okay. So we're side hilling along. We hit a, a, a hard spot in the snow. Who knows what happens? We lose our edge and the sled sets down downhill, both skis on the hill on a slope. I have a very small slope here. Um, just to kind of show the sled up on, on flat skis going down the hill a little bit. And this is another great feature to have low bars. Good reason. Okay. So I need to get it back up on edge. Um, with my low bars, they're nice and close to me, the closer they are to you and up the hill, um, the easier it's going to be to get that back set on edge. Um, you can just imagine if my bars were higher and they're pointing down the hill, it's going to be getting further away from me. Okay. And it may not seem like much, but you know, an inch, two inches further away down the hill, it really gets it hard to get it set back up on edge. And that same thing goes with your narrower width. Um, if you have to reach out further on your wide bars to grab that grip, to get it back over versus in narrower, it's just all about your position and uh, skinnier, low um, bars really are going to help you um, in all aspects. So there you have it. That's my take on low narrow bars. Um, I really do feel it's going to benefit you as a rider. Uh, you'll be in a better attack position. Um, you'll have better control and you're just going to look badass. Okay. Um, I'm going to come out with a sled update video very soon. Hopefully once I hit my, you know, together, um, Claris has been recalling us, you guys know. 
Um, so I don't know what my plan is yet for the boost, but I'm going to figure it out and let you guys know. I have this huge mountain of parts back here that has to go on sleds. So I got to get my button gear because uh, I'm going to be on snow soon and we'll be making content on snow stuff um, as soon as possible. So we'll see you guys out there.